Something else I can discuss in this land section is to see exactly what determines a household or firm's decision to locate in a particular location. We said in general that it's going to be demand factors, but we can go ahead and get a little bit more specific. So let's go ahead and ask this question right here. What determines a household's determines a household's household's or firm's decision to locate in a particular location, to locate in a particular location, particular location. So this can occur on both a household basis and also a firm basis. So just think about yourselves for a little bit, your own household. What may cause you yourself to locate in a particular location, say in Miami or wherever you may be? It could be family, it could be do your job, schooling, but you're going to notice that in a lot of areas, we tend to notice that group, uh, similar groups of people tend to congregate or aggregate near one another. If you're ever in a big city, say like in New York or elsewhere, you'll notice that there are areas like Chinatown, Koreatown, Little Italy, where, where households of similar cultures and similar backgrounds and similar beliefs are all tending to congregate and live near one another. And so we even have these locations here in Miami. We have Little Haiti, we have Little Havana. I've heard Doral being called Dorozuela before because all of, all of the Venezuelans that tend to live near there. I, I've heard Hialeah with all the criminals and deviants that sort of congregate near there. I live in Hialeah, so it's a perfect fit for me. But we tend to see that these like-minded groups of people tend to congregate near one another and if we sort of sum this up all the way to the firm's decisions where like-minded firms tend to congregate near one another, we call that a special case of industrial agglomeration. So industrial agglomeration. Agglomeration. So industrial agglomeration, when it occurs on a firm basis, it just tells us a few of the different reasons why so many firms within the same industry are going to tend to congregate or locate in close proximity to one another. So formally, this industrial agglomeration are geographical, geographical clusters of firms within an industry, uh, firms within an industry, that choose to locate in close proximity, that choose to locate in close proximity, proximity to one another or with one another, with one another. And are there any really good reasons why so many firms even though they operate in the same industry, they may be competitors to one another, why all these firms would choose to locate in very close proximity to one another. And the economic reason behind that is there are going to be some type of economies of scale that are going to be generated from this. So economies of scale. Remember, economies of scale, as a firm produces more output, its long-term average costs are going to go down. So this is probably the most economic reason why so many like-minded firms are going to congregate or aggregate near one another. There's also other business reasons that they want that, that they may want to do so as well. They may want to be close to the product market. So being close to the product market, product market, we also hear a lot of business keywords here, so things like synergy. Maybe they'll feed off of one another. All these firms are going to feed off of one another. There may be some type of learning by doing as well. Learning by doing, meaning that, hey, if one firm knows how to do something really, really well, maybe they can go ahead and share some of the knowledge with other competitors where they can just learn from one another, where this is where a lot of new technologies and inventions are going to take place. So industrial agglomeration, where these like-minded firms tend to congregate near one another, there's a whole bunch of great examples that we can think of. So in terms of the tech industry, where the vast majority of tech in the, uh, tech firms are going to go, they're probably going to go and locate near Silicon Valley, where Apple and all those other tech companies are going to be. Because they can generate some type of economies of scale, they're very close to the product market, so a lot of uh, customers in the Silicon Valley area, there's a lot of synergy, and there's a lot of learning by doing as well. If we want to go ahead and think about entertainment, the entertainment industry, where do they tend to congregate? That's going to be in Hollywood, Los Angeles. If we think about, uh, say, car manufacturing, so we used to have a very big car manufacturing. Where did most of the car manufacturing sort of 
production used to take place, and that's going to be in Detroit. So here, basically, we see industrial agglomeration happening on a firm basis, and there are a lot of different reasons why they may want to do so. But if we want to break it down just a little bit more, we can go ahead and say that this would also be sort of a part of the household's decision, where some sort of like-minded people, like-minded cultures, and families tend to congregate near one another for this reason. And in terms of industrial agglomeration, like we said, this occurs when firms in an industry choose to locate in close proximity with one another, and this is going to have the innate ability of increasing the demand for land, which increases the prices that they need to pay in order to utilize it. This will wrap up the land section, and we'll go ahead and take a closer look at our next factor of production, physical capital, in the next few videos. I'll see you guys there.